Welcome to Show Up and Glow. My name is Jalen. This is my cozy corner, a space created just for you to tune in and chill out. If this interests you, I invite you to find some headphones, a quiet space, and join me for a calming and comforting experience. If this is not for you, that is okay. I appreciate you stopping by. As you notice yourself enjoying your stay, please be sure to like and subscribe for more of this calm and cozy vibe. Now let's get started. Welcome in. Welcome in. <clears throat> I've had a lot of new subscribers, new viewers. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm so happy that YouTube put the cozy corner in your feed, however you found us. And uh, I just want to start off at the top saying, I've been getting a lot of comments about the music. Oh boy, this, this lovely, lovely music that uh, I so dearly love. I get a lot of comments about people asking, new viewers, new subscribers, saying, oh, this video would be so much better if it didn't have music. Oh, the video is great, but I can't stand the music. I see them all. I see all those comments. So if you're new here, or even if you're a regular Cozy Corner crew member, and it's been a while since I've told you, we have every single video for the last couple months posted on my Patreon. Linked in the bio below. Music free videos for you. Yes, 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 yes. I heard the feedback for a long time. And, um... I still love the music. I still love the vibes it puts out. It really helps me like calm down when I hear it. I absolutely love it. And to be quite honest, it's not going anywhere. But if you love my videos and you would love to hear the music free version, please visit my Patreon, which is linked below to find it. today. It's been a really long time since we've done a video like this today. And with the last handful of tarot card readings that we've done on the channel, I felt it was fitting to pull out the journal again. Mm -hmm. Pull out the journal again. Journaling is just one of those small but mighty things you can do in your life to create change, to slow down and reflect on anything, and to create some space in your mind and in your body. Personally, I guess I've been journaling since I was a kid. We could call that a diary. And back then it was like, Dear Diary. And both those words would be spelled wrong, obviously. Dear Diary. I had macaroni and cheese for dinner and I played outside and I hate homework. And then just like Jalen. You know, like that was that was journaling back then. But looking back on that time, it was uh, even at a young age, it was just a releasing of whatever was on my mind. Just put it on the paper and let it go and get rid of it. So if you're new to journaling or you've never journaled or maybe you love journaling, like 
we welcome it all here in the cozy corner. Today I thought it would be nice to do some journal prompts with you. If you would like to join me, if not, just stick around for the cozy sounds and to maybe just reflect, you know, in your own mind on the questions. And if you choose to join me today, whether you journal in your journal, or you just listen, you know, take it seriously, take it seriously, allow whatever's going to bubble up to bubble up and then release it. It will help you um, gain some clarity in your life and it just helps to release, release. That's all we're going to be doing today is just releasing. So, find yourself in a nice, comfortable position, or grab your journal. I've had this one for a while now. We're almost through it. Look, we're almost through it. Wait, we're almost through it. Right there. Just a little bit to go then I get a new one, Ooh, which means I get to go to Barnes & Noble and buy a new journal. Ooh, that's also another reason why I like to keep it up with journals. That feeling of buying the new one is so great. So the first one I wrote in here, in this particular journal, uh, was from November 2021. So been a handful of years. I also I also do like a digital journal on my computer, which I've talked about on here, but if you haven't heard, I like to do a digital journal where I just um like close my eyes and type away, allowing the thoughts to just flow through my fingers because a lot of the times my thoughts are faster than my my writing. So on a computer, you can just and I don't even think about errors, I don't think about capitalizations, punctuations, I just let it flow through the fingers and get it out, get it out, get it out. And that is so very cathartic so releasing and so freeing so if you'd like to try that way put on some good music put on some headphones and just let let the mind do its thing without judgment that's what we're going to do today too okay First question to reflect on. Hmm. First question to reflect on, what is holding you back? What is holding you back? Fill in the blank. What is holding you back from whatever?
Number two. Number two. What matters most to you at the end of the day? What matters most to you at the end of the day in regards to question number one? Really try to open up your heart a little bit when answering the questions. Open up your heart a little bit. Allow the mind to connect with the heart as well. To share some insight on maybe some things that aren't right away so obvious. Some thoughts that aren't right away so obvious. Some feelings. What matters most to you at the end of the day in regards to what is holding you back? Last question. Let's kind of meditate this. Meditate on this for a moment. What is holding you back? What matters most to you at the end of the day? Number three, what affirmations, mantras, or phrases will help you stay on track? What affirmations, mantras, or phrases will help you stay on track?
some of my affirmations that will help me um, continue to move through what is holding me back and to remember what matters most to me at the end of the day. Some of my affirmations I wrote down that might be helpful for you too are I am capable. I am allowed to explore and grow. I am a divine being with endless potential and support. So what if I, you know, put it out there towards you, it would be, you are capable. You are allowed to explore and grow. You are a divine being with endless potential and support. Um, this is the best pin in the entire world. In the entire world. And I have a lot of worldly viewers, worldly Cozy Corner crew members. And let me tell you, wherever you're out in the world, this is the best pin. This is the Pintel RSVP pin in fine. It has to be fine point. Oh my goodness, I love this pin so much. It's been my pin since probably fourth grade and I'm only a senior in high school so it's not like it's been like that long you know but it is the best pin in the world get you one and it comes in different colors too but I think it's only like blue and red and black and the fine point which is so lame because sometimes it's like a pink one or an orange one or a purple one and they don't make that so it's really lame so thank you so much for joining me here today whether you watched this video with music for free or you subscribe to my Patreon below and listen to it music free. I just heard the lovely ticking of Mr. Clock in the background. I appreciate you being here with me today. I'll see you again real soon.